Native TV presents Maternity Voices. It is a traditional level the British people have. Uh, it's at the level of uh, resources in terms of finances because some of those disabilities are unfortunately demanding for correction because uh, there are those we can handle locally here with our technicians, but there are those that may need to go a little further than actually the facility. So I think some of those uh, complications that may probably need referrals here and there sort of, I think, discourage um, uh, fathers from those. I think, uh, so it's something that right, is called a lot of collaboration. We as a hospital may not really take it all, <laughs> but definitely uh, we need sensitizations <laughs> of the community. If we are going to kind of have these mothers relieved of some of those really stresses, so it's definitely distressing when a mother is abandoned by the actual father of the disabled child at that time. I think they need really a lot of reassurance that uh, in good or bad, they need to, 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 to remain on because uh, those are never applications from mothers, nor are they from uh, children that they get such disabilities. So, I mean, they need to stand really for some of those challenges. I mean, they are for human beings. And I mean, even if you threw them wherever you're throwing them, they still will be handled by human beings. So it's definitely a challenge as well, uh, but uh, it, it, it is a spectrum of issues they are in, which needs to really be handled. And some of those are case by case. We even have twins. <laughs> you leave alone the issue of dis disabled person, even twins. Some men are scared off and they actually run away. They abandon uh, some mothers in hospital. So I, I, I think uh, we need a lot of sensitization to the community that uh, Whereas uh, you expect uh, the best outcome, anything may happen at the end of the day, and you get some of the, and you should be prepared anyway, as a parent. And uh, I mean, so that you see how best you handle some of those uh, issues. Maternity Voices is brought to you by Native Voices International in collaboration with White Ribbon Alliance, WRA Uganda. Thanks to support from USID through East-West Management. No woman should lose a life while bringing a life to this world. In Uganda, the high maternal mortality of 326 by 100,000 deaths is preventable if all necessary precaution is taken by, among other interventions, ensuring that all mothers make all the required eight antenatal visits, have health facility-based delivery, are delivered by qualified and skilled health providers. Mothers are treated with dignity and respect, have access to health facilities, Health facilities are well equipped, hygienic with the necessary medical supplies. Health providers are respected and mother's consent is given before a procedure. For this to happen, we all have a role to play by exercising respectful maternity care, demanding for it and creating awareness about it. Join us as a partner in the campaign to establish a respectful maternity care. You can start by liking this video, sharing it in your networks and subscribing to the Native TV YouTube channel for updates on this campaign and other common good initiatives.